Uh, hello everyone, uh, Music Beats here. Uh, you know, I just want to welcome you to the channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 25 subscribers. And yeah, I'm 21 right now, so I'm like four away. So if you subscribe, you know, you can be my 21st or my 22nd or my 23rd. <laughs> my mind just went off in the wrong direction. I love you, but no homo, bruh. And it's mostly dudes that watch this channel, so no. Um, anyways, I'm um, sorry for the lighting. Um, I have to be at work in the afternoon, so the only time I can film is at night, and I don't, you know, have any fancy lights, like, you know, so, you know, I just have to make do with the bulb in my room, otherwise it's gonna be dark. Uh, yeah, so, um, let's get the beat, yeah? I thought we could make a trap beat today, so, you know, I've got, uh, Afro Keys opened up already. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the, uh, 140 stamp right here, and I'm just gonna bring this up to 160, 160. That's the BPM I want us to work at today. And then I'm gonna, uh, before we do anything, I'm gonna go into the clap. Um, I've, uh, basically I've laid two claps here, yeah? They sound different, but when put together, they have like a unique, a unique texture, which I like. And that's what making beats is all about, layering sounds together and experimenting. So that's what I think I've been doing often. So I did this by clicking on this piano button here. And then what that does is it takes you to the piano roll. And because my, uh, the clap six here is highlighted with the green box, what we can do is um, we can start putting our clap in. Now I'm going to put this to the normal velocity. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, sh uh, press sh Shift D to shorten it. Open up the channel rank again. Press Command C uh, to copy it from clap 6 and Command V to copy it to clap 8. Uh, and then, you know, I'm just going to add two step hi hat. And why I'm doing this before I make any melody and whatnot is because if a beat sounds good with a clap and a two-step hi hat, you've already done. You've already basically done the job right there, yeah. So I know, I know, everyone here knows what a two-step hi hat and a clap sounds like. Well, duh. But regardless, I'm still gonna play for y'all. Just like a nice BPM for us to get like a bouncy, like dark melody going here. So um, let's let's get into it. Um, so I'm gonna. Click on the uh, dark piano, make sure the green box is highlighted, so that um, we're there. Okay, um, so I've got the first part of the melody done. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, grab the slice tool, um, shorten those notes, press Shift P to get the pencil, and then just delete the notes here. Um, so um, I'm gonna press Command B just to shift, over, shift it over to the other side. And I might just add a little bit of variation, but not too much, let's see what, what this sounds like. Okay, I'm, I, I like how it sounds, so we're, we're going to add our chords at the bottom, and we're going to go C, and then we're going to press Command B to shift it over, uh, press Shift down five times. I don't get the music theory behind this, but if you shift things down or down up, uh, shift things up or down five times, it's always on key, and it always sounds dope. I think it's because um, there's such a noticeable change in tone. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Ah uh, damn, that's gonna be a horrible lie. Uh, this is uh, okay. So I'm gonna shift the C here down to. Okay. Um. I'm then I'm gonna press Command B. Uh. Just to shift it over. And I did that by pressing command up, and what that does is it pushes, pushes it up an entire octave. So it went from being mostly uh, bass notes being at C4, uh, C4 to them being at uh, C5. Now I'm thinking we can just add uh, some top melodies here. So I was thinking maybe G sharp up here. Okay, so um, these are the top um, notes I've decided to add, and then here we'll just put G, and then we'll just alternate to C again, like right there. So 
So I'm using that sound as well. Maybe let me go G. Okay, now we we'll just shift these two notes here to the other side, and this is what it sounds like right now. Okay, um, you can probably predict what I'm about to do. If you watched all my videos, I'm not that great at making melodies. Um, we're gonna make this a dark melody now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've, I've clicked on, I, I did that by clicking on this button here, and that opens up the channel rack. I'm gonna click on the sample, sample double click. I'll go to the mixer. I'll go to the first track, press command shift L. And what that will do is that it will lay everything out. So everything that's on the channel rack has been laid out there. And then we're gonna go to the drop piano. And we're gonna solo it by right clicking on it. So I want us to add a little bit of reverb to it. And then Now uh, we're just gonna add our 808 and our 808 and our kick and the beat's basically done. So um, I'm thinking something like something I don't usually do is uh, put a lot of 808 notes. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the volume to maximum, velocity to maximum, so that it hits harder. Then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to there, press command up, and what that will do is make it longer. Go, uh, go back here, go to G, bring this up, and then um, here, uh, put one more note right there. And then what I'm gonna do from there is um, just bring that up too. So um, I'm gonna go into the 808 and we're gonna play with the settings. And I've done this by just by clicking on it. Go into the envelope, uh, decrease the attack, increase the hold, decrease the decay time, decrease the sustain time, decrease the release time. Um, and then um, I forgot. Uh, then we're just gonna right click on it and then we're gonna click on uh, cut it off. Yeah. And what that will do is that it will stop any notes from bleeding over to the other side. Uh, so um, like no 808 note. Um, because there's more control and whatnot, so it would not bleed over to the other side of the node. I don't know if what I'm saying is making any sense, but hopefully it is. Uh, I'll play it for you just so you hear what I mean. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the 808, press command C. I'll go to the kick, press command V. And what that will do is that it will paste all the notes there. And then we're just going to grab all these G's up here. And then um, delete that note. Yeah, so that, that's the beef for today. Um, I just wanted to make like a hard south side uh, TM88 type beat, uh, you know, uh, piano, hard drums. Um, I, the only thing I messed up was the hi hats because I was just trying to save time with the video. Um, if you if you made this far and you, you didn't like and subscribe, do that now. Even leave a comment. If it's trash, just tell me it's trash. Like <laughs> I, I like I don't mind at all. Like yeah. So um, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.